uh, in the third video we had seen the continuation of the roaming uh, that is understanding the roaming concept and in the video we have clearly discussed about the importance of the MC okay now today uh, we will discuss the test scenario that how uh, testing is considered or how testing is performed before uh, making the network live and what are the parameters that are considered for network configuration in order to have a successful call scenarios okay now let us see that what we have discussed in our earlier videos is that there will be exchange of the standard a14 document okay and ir21 document now this document you might be familiar uh, now after listening to the video that these are basically used these are basically uh, used for iot iot is what inter operator tariff okay this is basically the price negotiation or the, this is a standard document every telecom operator follows and apart from that if there is any special consideration then the discount comes into picture that is altogether different uh, uh, situation now ir21 what we have discussed it is basically used for configuring the network okay and it will have the ndc's and other related information ndc's what we had seen ndc's are nothing but these are your national destination codes okay now uh, let's say if you are uh, using a mobile and you have a mobile number now if it is starting with 9821 uh, this is nothing but your ndc this is one series so after that there can be uh, any other number and this series is allocated uh, to telecom operator so different telecom operator will have different uh, series but now with the introduction of the mnp so there is altogether a different concept that came uh, pitched in uh, for this ndc so that uh, after covering all the uh, lectures uh, regarding what we are intended to uh, have i will uh, walk through on this mnp part also so that it is clear that how exactly the mnp functions okay so now let us see about the, the configuration in the network part so what we have discussed that operator a and operator b if they are having a bilateral tie up okay then both of them will exchange the sim cards okay after exchanging the sim card what will they do they will do the network configuration okay now once the network configuration is done now what all they will uh, use for the network configuration basically they will use the ir21 document for uh, doing the network configuration the important thing what they have to remember doing the network configuration is to use the sim cards what is being shared by the operator a and operator b in their respective networks why because if they directly open the network then it is like uh, seamless roaming is happening or seamless uses of services are happening and uh, the op uh, telco operator doesn't know that okay his network is getting utilized without any agreement so that is the reason why uh, in testing phase what they will do they will only use the sim cards what is being shared by the respective operators to configure in the network okay so once the network configuration is done in both the sides then there is a exchange of uh, test scenarios now this test scenarios are defined by your gsm okay now this test scenarios what it considers is some special documents and the first basic document that will be tested is your ir24 document international roaming 24 document okay now this ir room uh, 24 document what it will contain it will contain your moc call scenarios it will contain your mtc call scenarios and sms call scenarios okay if any call forward and all are there then that also gets patient but basic is what this one now in moc also what uh, scenarios it will consider we have seen the moc scenarios what it will have it will have call back home okay it will have uh, your uh, local call okay it will have your roamer to roamer call uh, let me just uh, this will have your roamer to 
roamer call okay and uh, it will have your rest of world call and if you have any premium and all are there then that is a different case but we have, will discuss uh, on the basic call scenarios so that uh, you can understand now here we already discussed in our earlier video that what are the different call types or call scenarios that can occur when you are generating a call from your mobile means when you are doing a outgoing call from your mobile you can do your call back to home that is your to home country if from roaming zone to home country you can call within the uh, roaming zone itself roamer to roamer means now since you are roaming there can be another person also who is roaming from the same network right or from a different uh, this one but when we are doing a testing what we see is that uh, uh, same uh, uh, operator roaming call is established so here there can be a one subscriber of the same network and second subscriber of the same network so here one number is originating a call to another number and here he will be what he will be doing after successful call he will generate your mtc means he will terminate the call right so like that uh, situation will be there and you can call to any part of the world correct so in this case now uh, what we are uh, trying to see is that these are the basic call scenarios which are done and the mtc is as you all know that it is just a terminated call and you can send a sms to any part of the world with your sim card so these are the basic call functionality that will be tested in your ir24 document when this will be tested when network configuration is successful okay so once the network configuration is successful the ir24 document are being referred for performing the test scenarios now how these test scenarios will be performed that is important now in earlier days uh, uh, if you all remember or if you all know that some of the times a uh, physically person used to travel to the desired location okay to perform test assume that what should be the cost incurred correct now uh, because you are going there and you are just performing the test call scenarios later what had happened okay now i am sending the physical cards okay physical sim cards to the desired location or to the desired uh, telco operators and that person from there uh, the or the engineer from the uh, telco operator will originate a call from his network okay he will originate a call from his network later this has also changed and there are some tools uh, available like your keynote cycles adhesive adecf okay and some other tools now these are what these tools enables you to perform different call type scenarios whether it is you are related to prepaid postpaid uh, 4g or uh, value added services premium calls whatever the kind of call scenarios you refer these tools provide the uh, feasibility to perform the testing now what is the functionality of these uh, tools that let's say you are testing you want to test in usa okay and you are in india itself so in india without uh, moving anywhere what you have to do you have to originate a calls in india as if a physical person physically the person is in usa okay now how that can be possible initially what i had told that in the in earlier days physically the person used to travel to the desired location to perform the test then the engineers from the desired location itself they are doing the testing and in this keynote cycles you are just sending the sim cards okay in this kind of situation in this kind of software tool okay you are just sending the sim cards to the operator and this sim cards will be inserted in your sim multiplexer and this sim multiplexer is integrated with your tool like uh, cygos or adsf okay so on okay now once this uh, sim cards are inserted in the multiplexer sim multiplexer then based on the kind of tool you are using you will access that sim card access the sim cards via tool 
by sitting you can perform this test by sitting in your home also so once you access the tool okay access the sim card via the tool whatever the tool you are using whether it is keynotes or adsafe or any other tool now what you will do you will try to configure the c test scenarios you will try to configure the test scenarios so now in ir21 this is the first uh, test case or uh, test document that will be referred to perform the testing so whatever the test scenarios that are referred or that are mentioned in ir24 that will be uh, scheduled for testing in this uh, tools okay by doing some configurations you will use the sim cards sim card 1 and sim card 2 uh, based on whatever the sim cards that are placed in this multiplexer where these sim cards are now these sim cards are in the multiplexer so from here you are accessing these sim cards via the tool okay via the tool and you are uh, scheduling the test scenarios so once the test scenarios happens first and the basic thing that will happen is your location update okay what will uh, happen is the location update so once the location update happens if this is successful because why location update has to be successful because you need to latch on to that particular network now let's say from india you are making a testing in usa by sitting in india itself so in usa when you are configuring these sim cards okay now let's say you configured these sim cards in usa zone okay now uh, once you configure the sim cards in us zone then uh, you should be able to do the location update means uh, it will be like you are latching into the network of the telco operator with whom you are performing the testing in usa okay so now once the location update is happened successfully it means you successfully latched on to this particular network in usa okay so it means now first test case of location update is successful after that there will be your call scenarios whatever we have discussed like call back home roamer to roamer call sms scenario okay and uh, uh, it's like a local call or rest of the world call these call scenarios will be tested now once after in in uh, performing testing if you if the engineer faces any problem okay then what comes into picture then troubleshooting comes into picture okay in the troubleshooting they will identify that what is the reason for failing the calls why your problem means the calls are not getting matured the calls are not getting matured means what the calls are not getting successful so what is the reason for calls not getting successful is it a network configuration error or any uh, restrictions that are put on to the sim card all those things has to be analyzed and then it has to be resolved so in resolving the problem related to test scenarios you may also need to coordinate with the operator in india or in USA based on the kind of testing you are doing with the telco operators. So the respective operators will engage into call or some mode of communication. They will resolve the issues. Okay. And then they will uh, perform the test cases successfully. Okay. Now once the test cases are successfully, it means you have tested the basic call scenarios what are mentioned in your IR24 document without any issues, right? So this is how the first phase of IREC testing happens. This entire process is called as IREC testing, okay? Or uh, let me write it here in a different color that whatever we discussed in this video is related to your IREC testing because you are performing the testing of first document that is your IR24 document which is the first phase of your IREC testing okay once the IREC testing of IR24 is successful then there comes the next phase of CDRs that we will see in our subsequent video so what i request everyone is 
please listen to the video carefully and try to understand that what all the parameters that are involved in doing the network configuration how the calls are generated how troubleshooting happens and in case of doing the troubleshooting that who all will get involved okay because the both operators or both telco operators gets involved in troubleshooting they resolve the issues and they successfully complete the call scenarios now how this is happening this is happening without any movement of the physical resources or physical uh, uh, resources in the sense uh, we, uh, that physically we are means the uh, individuals are not moving okay so human resources so material resources like your sim card is getting shipped to the respective operators and that is getting placed in your sim multiplexer and from sim multiplexer the respective tools get integrated and with these tools you access by, uh, from wherever you want and you perform the testing in your desired location wherever you want and with respect to whatever the operator you are going to have a tie up okay so once the everything is successful you perform the direct testing and in the direct testing once everything is successful based on the call scenarios then next comes into your cdr part okay so that we will see in a subsequent video thank you very much keep focused be patient and listen the videos completely don't try to jump in between because this is the flow i am trying to continue uh, so that we are understanding from basic to the advanced level okay so this advanced level i am going to stop in 5g so once i am done with 5g then this entire uh, plan of what i have thought of of uh, making the journey of telecom from basic to 5g that will get completed so please stay tuned subscribe to my channel post your comments that will be very helpful for me to have any kind of improvement or if i need to add any uh, more information then that will be helpful thank you and i will see you all in the in the next video thank you guys